Another week, another vlog. <laughs> Hi guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back, darling. My name is Kilib Khilima Matala, also known as Kilib, and welcome back to the vlog. Another, another week, week, another vlog. <laughs> Happy New Year! Ba, 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 ba. No, but you're back. The channel is back. You're back. I'm here supporting you, right? So you are back. I'm back, back to business. <laughs> <laughs> back better than ever. Thirty. Oh wow. A mother. Mm. A wife. A wife. You know what you see again. <laughs> a wife. Hey, a wife. They gotta know. <laughs> <laughs> the drama hey guys oh my gosh it's been forever it's been forever yo it's been forever how long has it been oh, six seven months now more than that because i was seven months pregnant when i stopped recording ah mm. Mm. <laughs> wow <laughs> wow <laughs> <In jail. laughs> we're parents guys we are back I'm a mom. And I'm a dad. I'm a father. You're a father. I'm a guy. I'm a guy. I'm a guy. But technically, I'm not a guy anymore because I'm 30. I was a <laughs> Wow. Yes, Guys, welcome back. Like, yeah. yo, welcome back. It's been forever. And I feel like even the courage to come back on camera mm -hmm. and come back on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Like, yo. How easy? How easy? How easy? I'm not more balance between being a mom, uh -huh. wife, uh -huh. daughter, uh, working, wife, working. wife, 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 Yes, and someone was just like not having it. She thought we were having a, a conversation. conversation with her. <laughs> <laughs> I was so anxious, but now that she's here, <laughs> you're less anxious. I'm less anxious. Mazo! Okay, so we're back. So, yeah, yeah Marlo and we were taking a chance, hey, like mm. we always play with her, mm. so she probably thought we were playing a game of recording and her sitting there, yeah. <laughs> so she wasn't yeah. having it, so yeah, let's talk about the video and why we're making this video, yeah, okay, so as you guys can see by the title of the video, mm -hmm. it is our pregnancy journey, mm -hmm. um. Just so that we can, like, more than anything, let you guys know where we've been, mm -hmm. where I've been, mm -hmm. and what's been happening. And for those that aren't, like, on Instagram or, like, other social media platforms, mm -hmm. like, to know that we're pregnant mm -hmm. and that we have a baby. And, <laughs> and yeah, just to take you guys through the whole journey, like, from yeah. when we found out we were pregnant and... Yeah, it's all we are now. Yeah, fully, I agree. So, I mean, a lot has happened, right? A lot. A lot has happened since last year. Last time I saw you guys was like... 2023. End of June. Yeah. End of June. And now we're approaching June again. Hectic. So, yeah, a lot has happened. I don't think we'll get to everything in this video mm -hmm. in terms of, like, catch up and whatever. So, this video specifically, what we discussed... Mm -hmm was that we're going to make it our pregnancy journey mm -hmm. but not like a vlog type of thing more like a conversation mm -hmm. that we wanted to have with you guys that watch the channel and always ask us when ask her <laughs> when, <laughs> when ask her but people been asking you I'm <laughs> both obvious. Really? Yeah. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> when are you coming back? Hello, guys. Mm. Um, so they ask me on behalf of you. Mm, makes yes. sense. So people always ask, where have 
we been? Where have you been? Mm -hmm. But more than that, we wanted it to be a conversation so that True. when our daughter, um, we had a we had a girl, by the way. Um, when she watches this one day, she can really see how excited we were, how True. happy we were, mm. um, to find out about her. Cause low key, I'm a manifest One hundred percent. Low key. <laughs> Um, so we wanted it to be a conversation between us and everyone watching and her. Mm. So like one day when she watches, like, oh, you guys, hey. Mm. Mm. <laughs> we were actually having the conversation the other time, like, because mm -hmm. I was just like, yeah, let's record and go back on YouTube. Mm -hmm. And then you were like, but why? What's the reason behind yes. it? You know, like, you should know what's the purpose behind, like, this yes. video and why you want to record it. And mm -hmm. When we spoke about that and also spoke about like you guys watching the video mm -hmm. and our daughter watching it we were just like yo how awesome would it have been if our parents did the same thing for us you mm -hmm. know Rochelle led to know that we were a product of love to know mm -hmm. that they were excited to know when they found out and all those things so yeah let's get into it Shh. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to take it back like to like the 13th of Jan <laughs> yeah, so I think it actually starts before that day. Really? Yeah, I think so. I think because earlier we said we low key manifested her. Uh huh. So I think we can touch on that. Okay. Because the floor is yours. Because <laughs> <laughs> um, before we found out we were pregnant and when we had chats and whatever we would joke about having not even joke but talk about mm -hmm. having our baby and like True. how he or she would be because that time we didn't know that having a girl or boy mm -hmm. you know we'd see other kids we'd say hey <laughs> yes let's call her muntinyan yeah <laughs> But and it's the other babies. Um, we always be like very chuffed when you see her, yeah. and like always wonder like how she would be. Right? Yeah. How we've we'd... always wanted to have a baby. We've always wanted to. I'm always, always like that. <laughs> yeah, definitely. The past two, three years. Yes. Um, we've always wanted one. So that's what I'm saying. Like we low key manifested her. Mm. Um. Yeah, that was then before we found out. Fast forward to January 13th. When you the pregnancy test. Yes. yes. And guys, I think you always know when you're pregnant. Like, I think you know, your body will tell you, hey, mm. girl, something is a bit off. I was only like, I'm sure 10 days late. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was 10 days late. And I just like had hectic cramps and I was just like, there's no way. It's either I'm pregnant or my periods are coming. Mm. Yeah, and those cramps were like massive. Like, I don't know if like some of you guys also went through the same thing, but like mm. I'd be sleeping and I'd wake up from sleep because of those cramps. Mm. And I was just like, something is off. Maybe maybe something I expend. Like, <laughs> then I kept on telling him. And the other time I was just like, you know what? I'm getting a pregnancy test today. 13th of Jan, we got a pregnancy test. He was just like, oh, you're the not pregnant. 13th, because we found out 14th. Oh, sorry. Mm. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not going to Friday, because we bought the test on a Friday. It was a Friday, yeah. And it was the 13th, Friday the 13th. Mm. Um, and then, Shapo uh, hair. <laughs> and then we didn't take the test, obviously. We took it in the morning. Mm. And I think I was just like nervous. Yeah, I was really nonchalant. Yeah. I was just really like, ah, you're not pregnant. Yeah. I was like, ah, there's no way. There's no baby there. There's no baby. You you're, yeah, you're, like, you're overthinking yeah. things. Mm, I was you've like been that. late before. <laughs> yeah, I've already been yeah. late before. And, you know, we didn't even bother to buy a pregnancy test. Mm, not at all. So, I was just thought it was, I thought it was one of those. Mm. You know, really. Kanti uh, jiggy jiggy. Yay! Yeah, guys. We took the test like in the morning he was supposed to go somewhere mm -hmm. and then he was just like okay take the test now before i leave great i go in the bathroom i pee on the stick <laughs> i 
and it didn't waste time guys yeah. <laughs> it didn't waste time no, that clicks. <laughs> so i took the stick and then gave her hair washed my hands hi kesha Lagiri. two lines i couldn't believe it yeah. and the second line wasn't like light or anything it was vivid mm. like i could just see you're pregnant mm. i literally did this and I came out of it and I was just like <gasps> yes. And he was just like you're what? joking <laughs> Monkey I record a little record because we're not expecting No you know Kuna no tet and ten yeah Yeah let's take it I'm so scared no, we're not making a baby like that. Yeah, mm. I thought you were joking. Like we always do. Yeah. I thought you were joking. Are you sure that you're a hybo? Yeah. Are you sure? Ah. I'm done. We had a lot of focus. We just took a pregnancy test. Hey, so who was that? <laughs> Yo, hey, you were even reading the paper. I read the this paper. Mean, I'm yeah. like, what does this mean? And then, like, yeah. Yeah, no, that's crazy. It was wild. It was like so crazy. It was so yeah. unexpected. I saw it coming, though. Excuse I saw it coming. Because of the symptoms. Yeah. And I wasn't like vomiting or anything. But you were just as shocked. 100%. I was just as shocked. I was just as shocked. I was just as shocked. Just as shocked. Guys. Literally, the first thing I said was, We're kids, bro! <laughs> when uh, I think I'm pregnant, I think I'm pregnant. Uh, yeah. Like, we're kids, bro! What are we gonna do with a baby? We're kids ourselves. I mean, like, as you guys can see, like, we're very, like, I'd like to think we're a fun couple, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we just chilled about, like, a lot of things. So, like, a baby meant things are about to get serious. Yeah. Like, se not that we're not serious, but serious, serious. Yeah. Serious business. Yeah. It's no joke. <laughs> it's no joke. Yeah. Okay, Shad, fast forward. We're going to go buy, like, other pregnancy tests. I think I'll insert those clips here. So... We just took a test this morning, like literally 10 minutes ago, and we found out we're pregnant. <gasps> we're gonna buy another test. Ah, la, la. <laughs> <laughs> just one. <gasps> like another, yeah, another one, like just one. Yeah. That will tell us like how, how far. far along we are. <laughs> It's never the one to write up a song for just anyone I Like make everything clear, hooray yeah. Yes, you are pregnant, you're like three weeks plus Yeah, five seconds Ish. Pregnant I hope you can connect it in three weeks Probably yeah. like four or five weeks. Yeah, so that didn't say three, actually five. Five weeks, weeks yeah. yeah. And we were so excited. We were. Guys, we were so, so excited. <laughs> <laughs> this is insane. Why is it like? Oh my gosh. Rebana <laughs> <laughs> Who do you think the baby's gonna look like? <laughs> From the clip that you just saw, we were so excited. Mm -hmm. We couldn't wait. Like, I think I just knew that our lives were gonna change for the better. Like, mm -hmm. like, oh, it was a dream come true, like an answered prayer. Gori, mm -hmm. yeah. Shout for her, then we called our family members. <laughs> we just found out we're pregnant. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh my Everyone was 
just as excited. Yeah. People couldn't wait, you know, and the journey began. began. Mm -hmm. Making a human being is really hard. I have no control over my body or my emotions. Scare Bear, I'm sorry. I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations, oh Cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting But then you came along and proved me all wrong, I was so mistaken Then fast forward to I think March I think in Feb we went, not Feb In Feb, we went to the doctor No, on the 26th, on the 23rd of Jan we went to take blood mm -hmm. tests mm. to check if it's like a real thing. My mom was so excited. She was like, listen, if we can get the blood, then we can get the blood. Then we booked an appointment with our gynae, the best gynae in the world, mm. literally, Dr. Mukaya. And we went there, I think WD7 in March or something, but somewhere in March. Yeah. And that's when we saw the scan for the first time and my heart melted. My heart literally skipped a beat. I think, I think it's so crazy to see because like the first time you go, it's a little thing, it's mm. cute and whatever. Yeah. Mm. It's a good day. And like you get to see like how did you feel? Yeah. I always say like it's an unexplainable feeling. Like mm. it's a feeling that you really can't explain. It's a amazing feeling. I remember um fast forward to when now the baby was born, right? But we're still gonna go back. We're still gonna go back. I was talking about a specific moment, uh. right? And I was talking to one of my close friends and now like I was telling him about the baby and and and, and then he just said to me, Yeah man, it's a nice feeling, man. Eh? being a dad and i feel like that explained it perfectly like it's just a very nice feeling it's a very it's a very precious feeling mm. to know that you are now a dad you're someone's dad you're someone's father um so yeah i mean how i felt when i first saw the f the first scan like i said I, I think, think we heard the heartbeat at that time yes <laughs> almost um yeah and like I, I think i still have the video on my phone so we'll share like, that as well <laughs> so i think it was a really 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 good feeling um like feeling that you can't explain really because the first trimester was very you were very tired all we did was sleep if i still have some clips i'll share yeah. you glue all the pieces back together yeah you you take all my wrongs and make them better yeah you you're making me want to try forever i feel so free oh my sweet baby so that even somebody was sleeping a lot a lot like an image. yeah the first thing was like shame was hitting Gang, gang. Yeah, that was the first trimester. Mm, it was nice. It was smooth. I don't think I had any cravings. We just enjoyed getting snacks and just like chilling and enjoying yeah. like pregnancy. And I think like just the excitement. It's a, it's, it's a lot of work. Pregnancy for for for, for the guy. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> What do you mean? It's a lot of work for the guy. Okay, obviously not physically. Like obviously you do all the physical stuff, mm -hmm. like carrying the baby mm -hmm. and, and and the first like purchase that we made, yeah, the pregnancy was the pregnancy pillow. Best thing to ever happen to me. Worst thing <laughs> to ever happen to me. Look comfortable. How will you? Hmm. So comfortable. Chee, when did it? When I'm not been to your bed. When I'm not. 
got three quarters of the bed. Look at the table like a man. Took up all the space. Hate it so much. <laughs> I love Super it now because I get to use it also. Mm, shame. <laughs> but I hated it then, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that thing mm. got, it took up space, like, mm. it was so bad. That was the first trimester. What else happened the first trimester? Nothing much, really. I think it was just like more than anything the excitement. And then we got to the stage of getting our friends know, I think, third month. After the first trimester. Yeah, after the first trimester, now that we know that this is a solid thing, this is a real thing, because we found out super early. Then now we're telling our friends, people are so happy. I remember, like, yo, my friends are crying. <laughs> my <laughs> friends are crying, and I told them over, like, video calls, and they were crying. Mm -hmm. Like, I think others I told in person, and they were so excited. It's yeah. almost as if, like, they knew it. Yeah, so that's the first trimester. First three months, chilled, very nice. A lot of sleep, fatigue, but... The whole pregnancy was genuinely... It was. Second trimester was also nice and cool. Yeah. Now it's starting to show. Yes. You know, and... I mean, you were seven, eight months pregnant, still posting on Instagram. Yeah. And people couldn't see. Yeah. Like, there wasn't even a reveal, like... True. Nothing like. True shame. My Second trimester. Cool. So now we're in the second trimester, starting from April, and like it started <laughs> off. <laughs> second trimester started off with a bang because that's when we had my heart. That was amazing. That was beautiful. Yeah. We had all our loved ones like together and a lot of people now started knowing that we're pregnant mm -hmm. and like this is the thing that i've always said to people that our pregnancy was not a secret mm -hmm. like it was not a secret like everybody that saw us knew that we were pregnant you know mm -hmm. and it was just a thing of like not, not being too comfortable to share media. it on social media yes. because of and because of things that were happening around those times things happen out there and i know that there are people that are also watching this that have went through difficulties and stuff like that you know so i think yeah just like keeping it sacred was like yeah the decision that we had decided to go yeah and the best thing we, <laughs> we did for ourselves because yeah. i think sharing it on like social media gives a lot of like extra I for anxiety yes yeah. because like every day you're just like okay i hope the baby's still alive every mm. appointment you're just like i hope the heartbeat is there i hope because you know things happen out there and not mm. because you've shared it or you didn't share it Things but, just happen, get yeah. a fat thing, okay, like one. So we are, we just kept it off social media, but everybody knew. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah, but like second trimester was pretty cool as well because mm. that's when you started to become a bit more active like yourself again. Mm. Like, that's when you started to feel more Yeah, yourself. the fatigue was like now wearing off, right? Yes. It was like getting better. So it was Fortunately, we are very blessed with that so mm. that there weren't any complications and you managed to feel like your old self again. And now we're staying together, like second trimester. Yes. That was also a big one. <laughs> it doesn't really feel like a big one because we were always together anyway. Yeah, right? but I feel as if it was just like, okay, now we're always together, but there's no, okay, I'm going back to my place. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yes, we moved in together. In end of March. End of March, yeah. beginning of April. Yeah. Um, yeah. So that was also cool. Mm -hmm. like, but, but like that really didn't feel like a big change. It was a big change that happened, but it didn't feel like it because in we were always together. We were practically True. living together even before then. So that's all that happened. <laughs> yeah, and then that's all that happened. The trimester. The trimester. When did the trimester start? April, May, June. Mm. Third trimester starts. I'm still vlogging. I'm still posting on YouTube. I was enjoying it. I think I was starting to be a bit more consistent on YouTube. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it was nice. Like, I think during that time, then my baby shower. Yes. 
and we were also planning his planning his nappy bride. Mm -hmm. Um, your friends were actually planning. I was never the one to give up the ghost. No, I was so stuck. I kept on playing my part, wanted to give up because nothing was changing. But with you it's so clear And now that you're here I see colors in every spectrum Guess I finally learned my lesson Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah you, you take all my wrongs and make them better Yeah you, you're making me wanna try forever And I feel so free Oh my sweet baby was supposed to be August. In August, mm -hmm. yes, first weekend of August. I can't remember the fifth. Then the baby shower happened. Unfortunately, I also lost like my phone that had footage. I lost all the footage that I had mm -hmm. from the baby shower, but I will insert like a snippet of the reel that I posted. It was so beautiful. It was so nice. In the um, daddy one, it's a July. Myself, and I'm thinking out loud We won't need nothing else For the rest of our time And I know it so well I will always be by your side Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah you, you take all my wrongs and make them better yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever I feel so free Oh, my sweet baby So if you guys can remember The last time I started Like I stopped posting Like my last vlog I went out with Sweet Heidi And then mm. the following weekend Was my baby shower yes. And she didn't even say anything about it Like I'm telling you I'm you It was such a beautiful surprise I loved it Like Thank you Thanks to my friends Thanks to my family mm -hmm. Like everyone that showed up for me Like I really really enjoyed it It was so beautiful It was so special They got a makeup artist for me They hired a dress for me Unfortunately the dress was too tight <laughs> The dress was a little too tight Because <laughs> I was very big <laughs> And <laughs> Yeah, I think I need another dress. Can you just expect the girl? Ah, and then take the lamb one. Yeah, because I had said we we're going to a photo shoot. Yeah, and we we're wearing brown, and that was like yes. what we had said we we're gonna do. So now I was like, I'm so scared. Eh, I'm so in because we didn't have any preparation. I ended up even going to the outfit I was gonna wear for the shoot. Yes. To the shoot, right? Shop, we get to the shower. It was so beautiful. It was such a beautiful surprise. My cousins were there. My mom was there. Your mom was there. Mm -hmm. uh, my friends were there. It was so beautiful. It was special. I loved everything about it. I got so many gifts. Like, so many gifts. Things mm -hmm. that I didn't even think I would need. Yeah. <laughs> like, they thought, oh, okay, you're going to need this. You're going to need that. And they had that little... Thingy with the nappies and the letters inside. Oh, yes! Was really dope. There was a game. Oh, yeah, like, mm. oh, letters. So when I change, like, when I change babies, um, diaper, new saw, mm, just words of encouragement. Mm. Guys, it was beautiful. I'm so sad I don't even have footage of that, but that's what it was. It was beautiful. Yeah. It was wholesome. It was the first of July. And did that day. Life is gonna take a turn. Mm -hmm. Literally life took a turn on that day It was such a beautiful day It was a perfect day And my mom They had slept in hospital Because my dad was not feeling well And I was shocked Because I didn't think he'd be that sick You know mm. My family had to go back to Valcom Same day The first day Because my dad was now home And he wasn't well mm. That worried me 
a lot and obviously you're pregnant and people are trying to be like a bit more careful yeah, sensitive sensitive and they don't want to scare you because yeah. you're carrying this precious cargo <laughs> <laughs> and my dad found out i was pregnant in march because i knew that he was going to get too excited and he was going to tell everyone so i waited <laughs> For the first trimester, and then we came together. He was so happy, and he believed that baby was gonna be a boy. And he called that junior. We saw like, "Can the junior come on?" R S J. So what a junior! And he was so excited, and we were all so excited. He was just like, "Oh, I can't wait! I can't wait for my couple of work." And guys, my family went. To welcome and then we were just we had an appointment on monday yeah with the guy so then we decided not to go with them we'll go home after the appointment with the guy mm -hmm. um the following day i think the second in the morning he sent me a voice note i'll share the voice note with you guys he sent me a voice note come send out pictures of the baby shower and then this is the voice note that he sent hey good morning my baby it wasn't easy really. But now you after effects of failure. One of you are not my child. You are so beautiful. Or trend said I'm a girl. A trendset, a fly higher. We do more support. You know, my new boy. Come on, I go, my boy. I'm so happy, I'm so happy, really. Now, I'm so happy and proud of you. I want to in the family. I will have to sell a movie to the no matter what. So. I'm sure of it's a hundred and one. Today is another day you'll have a doctor. Then you'll be assured. That's why I'm here with the hospital. Yes, please, 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 Okay, keep well, love you. That was beautiful. And I like I want to be like okay when I speak about this because it was really such a difficult time mm, in our yeah. lives. Like it really guys, was. it was almost as if everything was going great, 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 and then kind of and mm, it was the 1st of July. The 3rd of July, if I'm not mistaken, we had an appointment with the guy. Me. After the appointment, the guy said we can go home. So we went home. So that week, we went home. We spent a lot of time at the hospital. Um, and that time, I was heavily pregnant. It was just tactic. Mm -hmm. Spent the whole week with them, with my mom and my dad. And it was beautiful. I had a good time. And as stressful as it was, we had a good time. You know, Lena, he was feeling so much better when we were there and all those things. And guys, like when I left home, I even said to him, Hi, next time I see you, can you say it? Mm. And it felt like I didn't think, hey, it was goodbye. Yeah, I didn't think it was goodbye. And it was so. Yeah, it was so sad, man. Like, April, like, July. August came. And the 1st of August, my baby was due September. Mm. And my dad passed away 1st of August. And that was not nice. It wasn't nice because I was eight months pregnant. Mm. I was heavily pregnant. And then now we have to start like planning a funeral. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, that was the craziest part because, like, you are going through something which is like pregnancy, and that's going so well, you know, as well as it possibly could, right? But at the same time, it's like now you have to deal with a death and grief and all the emotions that come with that. Mm. So it was so tough in that sense because I remember saying to you, like, we felt so low. And we felt like as if like we're such at a low point in our lives at that point because everything was so tough. I mean, um, I guess I can touch on this. Like, even for me personally, career-wise, things weren't the greatest at the time. So it was just like a mess. You know, it was just like unbelievable. And I remember saying um, to her that, yo, it can't get any worse than this. Honestly, it cannot. It cannot get any worse. Because then also, like, how do you celebrate bringing life into the world? Whereas you just now, like, what can I say? burying someone else mm. you know so it's such like a a mind fuck really <laughs> it is because like even now that i think about it like that was possibly the worst time ever mm. um so i mean the first of august happened we had to drive back home and now start arranging a funeral and that's and that's not an easy thing to do, especially now you're eight months pregnant. And I think like what was like what made it like even more sad was the fact that when we left here, we even left with baby's hospital bag because yeah, because of everything else. That yes. Was so we know that oh, the baby I actually is not forgot true. about that. Mm. We we wow. know that the baby and the carried this alone. Yes. We knew that the baby was only due in September, but because of everything that was happening at that time, it was just like, what if something happens, you know? Yeah. And it's very difficult, guys. Like it's very, very difficult losing a parent. Everybody that's lost a parent can attest to this. It's very difficult. It's not an easy thing to go through. Mm. More so that like, my relationship with my dad wasn't, like, the greatest throughout. And we started working on our relationship hectically. So, last year, you know? Mm. And... It was getting there. It was getting there. Mm. Like, I think I've said, like, I said everything that I wanted to say to him. He said everything. Even though it wasn't, like, but actions, you know? Mm. I remember Gamma Hadi... I'm um, really clipping me like on the vlog months as I got in his excitement towards mm. that. And like just everything. It's almost as if he knew that this is it. When I got the car, when I got my car and we got home and my mom came out and I was just like, no, go get him, go get him. Mm. And then come together, you know. And he was so excited. Like I we drove to Virginia, we drove to OD, we you know, mm. everything that I've always wanted to do with him, we did last year. It was almost as if like you know and me and my dad have always like clashed a lot because i'm very vocal and i'm a very like if i if something is not right it's not right and i'll say you know and he did not like being challenged like that you know i'm very emotional he didn't want to get in touch with these emotions like that so then funny enough no sereva you know mm. And now we are so excited for he's gonna be the granddad to my child and he can't wait to meet Junior and <laughs> <laughs> guys. And we kept uh, the baby's gender a secret. A secret from, from him. him, yes. Because, because he was like, it's a boy, it's a boy, it's a boy. Like, I don't care what the doctors <laughs> say. 
I know. No, it's a boy. So we were just like, okay, we're not gonna tell him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. That was the plan, so that he'll see for himself. True. Yeah, <laughs> yeah guys, mm. it was so sad. It was it was so difficult. Like I think yeah. I remember like having a Vika here, so here I am. Correct, it's a master penguin. <laughs> And the people hire. And now I'm worried because, like, now you're standing a lot. You're not supposed to be standing. Yeah. You're walking around doing this and this. Everyone's just like, do la fancy, do la fancy. Mm. So it was really uh, tough. Oh, it was so hard. Um, but yeah, I feel like by the grace of God, um, nothing happened. Um, and we made it through and then yeah that was eight months and then and it was hectic it was hectic it was tough it was tough and then now you're grieving now we are traveling back like full of fella here and then we had to travel back immediately after the funeral because we, we had an appointment close. also yeah, and we want to be close to the hospital. We want to be this side. And I remember there were chats about me transferring Kilo Bebella High. And I was just like, nope, I'm comfortable with my guy. I want to stay in Joburg. And mm. it was so hard, like, just leaving my mom and just leaving home, you know, without my dad. It was shame. Yeah, it wasn't nice. And just coming back, dealing with the reality. Yeah, okay, like, he's not there anymore. Like, I think beating myself up, uh, like, a lot of things. Like, feeling like there are certain things that I could have done, you know. Like, I could have left him out loud. I remember when I posted that my dad passed away, people were like, you have a dad? <laughs> <laughs> you know, and I was just like, ah, why didn't I love him out loud more, you know. Why didn't I do this? Why didn't I do that? Why didn't I... There was like a lot of like those things and that time you are like heavily pregnant and you're just going through all these emotions that pregnancy and you're grieving at the same time you're excited to be a mom but the transition is a lot yeah yeah it wasn't easy <laughs> like you're calling it youtube <laughs> yeah so yeah but, like that month was a lot. I think July, August was, I think, the toughest. Very tough. Um, very, very tough. Yeah, it was the toughest, especially <clears throat> because of the death in the family um, and all the other challenges that we went through, really. Yeah, because life was still lifing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and life didn't stop. Like, the challenges didn't stop. Like, we still had other challenges, like, on top of all of that and you know like we felt like things are gonna get better things are gonna get better and things are not getting any better mm -hmm. and that was so hard for us like it was so difficult and yeah that's on my right september yeah so september came i think end of august the guy me said to us come on monday the fourth because initially the plan was to give birth naturally mm -hmm. are you gonna share that the fact that it was a c-section i don't think it's something that's okay people have to do it all the time yes no yeah. as long as you're comfortable yeah. yeah so the plan was to give to give birth naturally and closer towards like my due date like my yeah my pregnancy was just like now getting a lot and then the doctor was just like, nope, you can't push. <laughs> yeah. You can't push. You shouldn't push. And also with everything that I was going through, it was just not wise for me to go through that route. Sharp. And then like towards the end of August, are Monday, if nothing happens during the weekend, come on Monday. Because the baby's due date was all 909, the 9th of September. Mm -hmm. And we were so excited. And if nothing happens during the weekend, come on Monday, the baby will be here on Monday. The excitement, even like I'm an Aliona. After everything that we've been going through, this was like exactly what we needed. 
Yes. This is what everyone needed. We were just like, yes, 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 yes. Let baby come. And Monday was the 4th of September. The day Beyonce was born. <laughs> and by Beyonce, I don't mean our daughter. I mean Beyonce, Beyonce, alien mm. superstar. That one <laughs> was born on the 4th. And your friend was also born on the 4th. Mm. Like our baby's uncle was also born on the 4th. Mm. And baby was also born on the 4th. So we went to the hospital. Thinking out loud, we won't need nothing else for the rest of our time. And I know it so well, I will always be by your side. Cause you glue all the pieces back together. Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better. Yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever. Feel so free, oh my sweet baby Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah you, you take all my wrongs and make them better Yeah you, you're making me wanna try forever so free, I'm a sweet baby. Came back with our baby. Our baby girl, beautiful baby girl, gorgeous baby <laughs> girl. She is beautiful. Like she's, I feel like mm -hmm. and that's okay. We should, like as we should, but she's gorgeous. Oh, she she is beautiful. <laughs> yeah, so at least that happened. Um, and it was sort of like, a, like, like you said, like a new beginning. Everyone mm. needed that. And that's what we got. And and we felt like God restored. Yes. Like he took a life and he gave us a life, you know. Mm. And he gave us a healthy baby. And everything went well with regards to that. Yes. And as much as we were still grieving, like that didn't stop because every single thing is like, yo, my dad would have been saying, hey, mm. hey, this. But our baby was there and it felt like God was just like, okay, Pumulan. Mm. <laughs> now, Muntunyana is born. Um, beautiful baby girl born on the 4th of September. And yeah, we're happy. Everything went well. Mm. Healthy mommy, healthy baby. Safe delivery. Safe delivery, which is very, very important. Mm. I think even the most impo important part of the whole journey. Because that's very, very like mm. critical. Mm. You know, anything can happen in there. So we were very blessed so that that happened well. And yeah, I feel like now the baby's here. As a guy, like for me, like it felt amazing, you know. Um, holding her for the first time. Um, I remember um, when she was born, she was crying, 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 and like all babies do, Hanagumisa Hoen. Um, then she was quiet. Yeah, that was, <laughs> that was so special. Then, oh. She was just quiet. I'm like, girl, you just 
Christine crazy, like yo, hi, Bamu, I to me it's a one night, and you know, it's just like hello, baby, and she was just like, oh yes, here's the voice, I know the voice, I know, I know this person, and she was just quiet, and she was quiet, oh my heart, um, what do you know? Then they took her away. Um, I went with her mm -hmm. to the kind of use to the I forgot baby room to the baby room. And also, I can't remember she made a movie about. I remember oh she was casual for me. Yes, and I was very paranoid. <laughs> he was yeah. so paranoid. He's like, I was coming back to the So I went everywhere. I'm going with her. everywhere with, with her. And yeah, then they put her in the ventilator for me. Yeah. Her. Um. Yeah, they put it in there and i was with her the whole time until you came back even when she came back make a little more check up every two minutes make it I my name. <laughs> I'm video I went there so many times the nurses even asked me like are you a first time there yeah. I'm like yeah <laughs> that we can tell well, we can tell <laughs> and I was just asking a lot of questions mm. to say okay what does this mean mm, what 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 what, what, what. So yeah, I think then I was just being extra like that. And I think the my favorite part um was when I could hold her and then she'd mm. fall asleep on my chest. Mm. And even like now, even till today, like I feel like that's our thing. Mm. Like you know how to put her to sleep. Definitely. <laughs> yeah. Definitely I know how to put her to sleep. And like when she's sleeping like that on my chest, like she really just passes out. And that was my favorite thing to do in there. I wouldn't mind just like holding her like that mm. and she'd sleep. Because that's all babies do. And just like, I just arrived. Yeah. yeah. I think we think now they'll be like. He thought he was going to have a toddler. <laughs> Literally from the hospital. He was just like, Kobapala, give it. Kobapala, English, you boy. All she did was just sleep and eat, and yeah. that's it. Like that's all babies do the first week yeah. they get out. Like, and it was so beautiful, man. I love that girl. Yes. Like, I love like that's my girl forever. Mm. Like, yeah, that's like my girl forever. And I just, I'm so obsessed with her. Mm. <laughs> I'm so 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 obsessed with her, and I feel like. Our lives really changed. Like definitely, they changed like drastically. So mm -hmm. you know, and in such a beautiful way. Like when you're watching this, baby, just mm -hmm. know that like you really are a product of love, and that we love you so 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 much. And you really saved our lives. Like you genuinely saved our lives. Because when I really think of it, we're going through so much. Mm. So so much, and she saved us. You mm. know, she just. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> no, she really did. Mm. So yeah, I mean, the baby was born, and then you went home. Yes, you went home with baby. Went home. When you say you home, you mean sissy. home, like back home, not Joe. Yeah. Joe is just for work. It's not home. <laughs> <laughs> I was just yeah, there to like sure. went home, welcome. Nice. Um, again, not not easy for me because I had to be in Joburg, and then I was driving home every other weekend, um, mm. as often as I could. But yeah, like I think you being home was like the best thing because then your mom really could help you mm. uh, uh, she i've always it's always been a dream of mine to go through this journey with my mom mm. and i've always wanted her to be hands-on my mom is a midwife as well on a for years like more than 40 years and like with kids like with babies you know so i've always wanted her to be there like and do this Stacy and walk me through this journey and she ushered me into motherhood so gracefully like she extended me so much grace i was also healing like my operation was healing and she was taking care of me taking care of baby like allowing me to rest and sleep and guys ah uh, 
ah, like it was like beautiful and the fact that like lena like she was also still grieving i think on the first of september mm. and then baby came on the fourth and they looked at me with a nearly like a so that's exactly what she also needed to be mm. with me and to be with her granddaughter it was beautiful we had such a nice time it was beautiful it was like uh, the support like that we've received like literally since the day we found out we were pregnant from family, friends, like colleagues, colleagues. I don't know if I'm going to shower. Oh, it's a gift card. Oh my god. From the finest team. <laughs> 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 like such a beautiful shower like everyone has been so supportive despite everything that happened the good definitely outweighed the bad because we had a healthy delivery a healthy baby we were and we were just like making it despite all the challenges despite everything else the good was so good baby's growing i think she's almost seven months now crazy business <laughs> <laughs> she's a beautiful bubbly baby mm -hmm. loves to laugh um she's her mother's baby yeah definitely she's also her daddy's daughter true <laughs> that's true i um, think like she took like part of both you and i but she's her own mm, person yes. yeah so yeah i mean she's growing up so well she's so well taken care of um she's healthy the doctor is very happy with her mm. um so yeah that's been really dope and it's really been dope being a dad experiencing her and yeah i think can't you're wait. a great dad you're a great mom you're a great dad so we're recording this and it's the 6th of March 2024 mm -hmm. just the day before the night before I turn 30 ba, 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 ba. super excited mm. everything came together so beautifully and we're super excited we love her so much we love you so much so so much. so 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 much like you mean the world to us and yeah and that's that and that guys that's our journey mm -hmm. that was our pregnancy journey and i hope that you guys enjoyed it mm -hmm. um thank you so much for making it to like this part of the video because i think this is going to be a very long video mm -hmm. i think it's probably going to be an hour long yeah. <laughs> and yeah and i'll sit down is crazy though uh, crazy yeah. crazy but i hope that like you were able to listen to all parts of it and that you enjoyed it Thank you so much for being here with us and yeah we're parents i'm 30 i'm bum, bum, back bum, bum. you're back and i'm excited to be back i'm so excited to be back i'm excited you're back. right mm, i'm excited you're back i feel like you it's been a long time coming Marina, go. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Mm -hmm. Watch the ads, please. Make use of that super thanks button if you can. If you can't, it's okay. Just watch the ads. Thank you so, so, so much. And I miss you guys so much. I miss you guys a lot. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.